every single dropshipper is telling you to find a product first. And it's wrong. It is not the first step. And by the end of this video, you will not only understand this new blueprint or roadmap for dropshipping, but you will see it be put to use in the form of a case study, where I will show you a store I just a few weeks ago took from zero to over $1,000 a day in sales with this exact approach. And you will thank me probably by the end of the video. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be humble here. You'll be like, damn, this is hella good information that I did not know before watching this. So sit tight, grab some popcorn. I don't think this video will be too long, but this is the new way of dropshipping. First off, my name is Sebastian Esqueda. I've been doing this, which is dropshipping since 2017. And the other day I had this overall idea. I had a little, you know, uh, thought bubble pop up and I had this new idea for how to dropship. And I already have been putting it into action, but I didn't really comprehend it until a recent day. And so I thought about it. And so once I realized this, I wanted to put it to the test. Before I get to that, what is this new way of dropshipping? Well, everyone with the old way is saying, find a product, start your store, run ads, wrong. You need to first understand who you're selling to, then you pick a product, then you build the website, then you run the ads. That's all it is. It's instead of just saying, I'm gonna you know, close my eyes and pick this niche, you say, okay, I'm gonna understand my customer and I'm gonna do a lot of research, figure out who I'm selling to. That way, doing everything becomes a whole lot easier. All the gurus who are telling you to find a winning product and then build a website, whatever, whatever. They're telling you this because they already understand what a winning product is. So I put myself in your shoes and wanted to take action on this blueprint. And instead of finding a product, I wanted to understand a niche, figure one out, and then try to sell in it. That's pretty much all I did. I went on TikTok. I started honestly doom scrolling a little bit for like 30 minutes. I stumbled across this niche of vintage. They have vintage clothing, vintage photos, just like overall people living in 2024 trying to be vintage, which is a little odd to me. I think, you know, get with the program but to each their own. And so I saw vintage as this new little niche that I was discovering. I saw Abercrombie. They started to sell a lot of cool vintage style clothes. The reason this niche appealed to me is because it fit into this criteria that I've created, which is the niche has to be passionate. I don't want to sell a product where the audience isn't passionate. Number two, I wanted to sell something that had broad appeal. Retro niche is pretty damn big. And so I figured I could sell a ton of products in this niche. The third one is disposable income. Most people who who want to shop for retro clothes or want to do something like that, they probably have a little bit of money to spend on a product, which meant I could probably capitalize on this niche. Now, I did further digging and realized this was actually a solid move. I saw Abercrombie and Fitch. They used to sell some kind of lame clothes. They now sell retro sports shirts, retro car shirts, tons of retro style clothing, and their stock has spiked because of it. And so I saw that and then saw a few other retro products that are being sold. That just gave me further confirmation that this was a really quality niche. On top of that, I went on TikTok and started to type in retro and vintage, and I saw this certain aesthetic that I, it's kind of hard to explain, but I saw this aesthetic with photos and this whole vibe that people were going for on TikTok specifically, and it was this vintage -y, retro style photography that people were interested in, almost like shitty camera quality, in my opinion. And so I saw this trend, and I saw it a lot, like a lot, a lot, and this sparked a little idea inside of me that potentially I could sell something that could give people that effect on photos. Once I did all this research, then I started finding products. This wasn't something where I did product first, simply because I wanted to validate the niche before I even considered selling products to this audience. The reason it's so important to you specifically is because if you're a beginner, there's no way in hell you're going to find a winning product if you don't know exactly what a winning product is. Even if I tell you it's going to be very difficult for you to find one yourself on your first go, and this is just a much easier approach. So that is what I I did. Once I already knew who I was going to sell to, I went out looking for vintage style products that I could sell to this audience. And after honestly, probably 20 or 30 minutes of scrolling again, I got distracted a little bit. I found this cool vintage style camera. It didn't look vintage, but the photos it made were very vintage style. And by vintage, I honestly just mean like low quality, but girls were eating that shit up on TikTok. So it was a good move. I saw all the comments. They were like, oh, this is so sick. Where do you get it? And I was like, damn, this is probably a pretty solid product to sell. At this point, I kind of knew it was game on. And I knew that because I already knew who I was selling to. And that exact audience was in the comments of this product.
product I now found. So it was very easy for me to put the two and two together because I did the research first. How is this different from the old way of dropshipping? It's very simple and I'll keep getting into the case study. I just want to like make sure you guys understand what I'm saying. So if I were a beginner and I didn't know what I was looking for and just started looking for products, maybe you find the vintage style camera and you try to sell it, but you don't make your creatives the best because you don't know who you're selling to and you don't make your website the best because again, you don't know who you're selling to. So for me to find this camera was perfect for me because I already knew the vibe I was going for and this product fit perfectly into it. And so when you guys approach dropshipping, try this, try this exact approach. It's simple and I will explain in a second how well it paid off because it did actually really, really well. After this all happened, I generated a store with an app on Shopify, it builds your whole entire store and I made the store and it was done in like a minute or two. And then I started working on creatives and literally all I did was just download some off TikTok, edit them up a little bit, made them a little more salesy, combined a lot of different videos and had five individual creatives to run ads with. After that, I scheduled some ads and let the product run. And day one actually did pretty darn well. I kept running the product and kept scaling it with ads. And over the course of like a week or two, we got it to over a thousand dollars a day, generating around 250 to $300 a day in profit. And this was like just a little test. It wasn't even something I was that focused on. It required like none of my time. I just fulfilled orders and ran ads. And so it was just so clear to me that this is a really easy approach to drop shipping. Honestly, in a world where like everyone's telling you right now, to, you know, find a product first and then set up the website and then run ads like it's bullshit. I'm going to be honest. It's a bad move. If you're going to try dropshipping, this should be the only way you approach it from a strategic standpoint where you want to not only test it out, but you want to get knowledgeable in one specific niche specifically. That's what I really like about this new way of doing it. Let's just say two people start dropshipping me and you and you follow the old way, which is finding a product first, picking random products, and then I follow this new way of doing it, which is hyper focusing on one niche, knowing who you're selling to, and then cycling in new products all the time until you find a winner. That's a much easier approach because over the next 90 days to 180 days, you will be testing random products and you won't understand any niche deeply because you'll just be bouncing around. And I will have a deep understanding of who I'm selling to because I didn't veer off the path. I'm staying focused on one specific niche and it is paying off because now I understand who I'm selling to, what they desire, what their insecurities are, and life becomes a whole lot easier. Now, I know this is sort of general and vague, and I'm just saying find a niche, then find a product, then, you know, uh, build the store and run ads. However, in five days time, I'm going to put out a video that will be probably one to three hours long, probably closer to two to three hours. And I'm going to run down every single part of this business, all of the moving parts, starting with, again, picking your niche, because this is something where no one's really talking about it. And I promise you, once all of this content comes out, everyone will be talking about it. But this is the new way to drop ship. There is no other way you should be approaching this business if you want to actually make it work. So knowing that, mark your calendar for another five days in advance and and I will see you in that video. It's a long one. I promise you, you will not want to miss it. But yeah, mark your calendar, five days. I'm gonna have a sick ass video out going through exactly this. And it's going to be start to finish from starting your store out to scaling your team and everything in between. And that's the only free course, the only course you should be watching right now on dropshipping because every single person is making videos and they're missing the first step. If they're missing the first step, they might be missing another step and they might be misleading you. And how would you know because you're a beginner? So with that in mind, please take note of this. Understand there's a new way of doing it, a more efficient way of doing it. And I want you to have the tools needed in your tool belt to build a pretty sick foundation and house for yourself in the future with dropshipping. So with all of that said, this is the new way of dropshipping. I hope you are ready to learn everything and I will see you in five days.